My name is Daryl Schweitzer, and I'm a volunteer here at Colorado National Monument. Um, they used to only be in the monument occasionally because they can migrate between these canyons behind us here and the canyons to the west of here in uh, McInnes National, I mean in McInnes Conservation Area. And so they didn't come this way very often, but the herd numbers have increased so much that there's pretty much a resident herd here now, and you can, they can be seen most any day. Uh, if and so we started transplanting uh, animals from those herds uh, to this area, and uh, this was the Colorado Department of Wildlife that did this. And they uh, initially got about 100 animals and, and implanted them in this area in, uh, along the canyons of the Colorado River. And that includes Colorado National Park. The bighorns haven't been hunted very much for quite some time. And in fact, are still not hunted very much. Uh, the the uh, Colorado Division of Wildlife does allow at least one or maybe two permits to hunt a single sheep in this area along the Colorado River. But uh, still not a, not a very big part of the game, wild game uh, scene. We know that they were in this area because of the uh, rock art that's in, in the whole western half of the United States depicting them. Um, it's, we knew that this was historic range for them, so uh, they're ranged later on in the, uh, the last half of this century, or the previous century, was mostly confined to uh, Utah and Arizona and Nevada. And so we started transplanting uh, animals from those herds uh, to this area. And uh, this was the Colorado Department of Wildlife that did this. 